Let's move on to the big story around the $800 million geometric power plant located in Aba, Southeast Nigeria, which was conceptualized nearly 20 years ago by Nigeria's former Prime Minister, Bat Naji. The 188-megawatt power facility was commissioned a few days ago by top government officials and key investors, which includes the African Export Import Bank. Joining me now from Aba to chat to the making of the geometric power plant is the founder and CEO of the plant. Bartanaji, a warm welcome to Arise Exchange tonight and congratulations on this huge project. Thank you very much, Boston. I want us it's to talk about the making of this geometric power plant. I'm sure you would have a book on it ready. But then, let me just have a sneak preview. Give me a little bit of uh, the backstory of this power plant. Well, what was the business case for this investment at the time you conceptualized it? Well, first, um, well, the project started in 2004 with uh, a concession uh, MOU by the uh, then president uh, uh, Obasanjo uh, to us. And uh, then um, in 2005, we had a substantive agreement uh, and it was, uh, we would license two companies, the uh, generation company and distribution company immediately after the setup of uh, uh, the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, uh, which was set up in December of 2005. Uh, so by 2006, we had licenses as first private uh, power company uh, to have licenses for generation and distribution along the same time that the Jenkos in Nigeria and the Discos in Nigeria were licensed. So we set about um, uh, raising capital for, for the project, which we did, and um, um, uh, we did raise some, but uh, we went through uh, the financial uh, uh, crisis uh, of 2008 and uh, some other uh, hurdles that we had to overcome. But in the end, um, by uh, uh, 2000 and, uh, uh, 18 uh, between 2018 and two, two, 2021, we were able to raise uh, capital to restructure the project's finance, and uh, here we are. So um, the business case is that uh, it is a different kind of model. And most of the power projects in Nigeria, they are either Jenkos uh, supplying to the national grid, or uh, discos taking power from the national grid. This power project is coupled. So you have an embedded generation project uh, supplying power to the, to the disco. So that disco is, uh, is what now takes the power and uh, uh, gives to the people. We have done a lot to refurbish the, uh, the distribution infrastructure. In fact, we've invested uh, nearly eight times the cost of what what it costs to acquire the distribution uh, infrastructure. Um, so the business case basically is this, that um, you, we don't have to go through the national grid. We generate power, we sell, we don't uh, have to um, uh, have a sovereign guarantee from government. Uh, it's, it's um, you know, you take your, your fate in your own hands. Mm. Uh, and um, then um, deal with the people. But the power is regulated. Um, we are confident that this model is what works to deliver reliable electricity. Uh, thank you for that uh, backstory. You hosted me and my colleague from Bloomberg uh, out of London 10 years ago at that plant. I remember 10 years ago when I was there with my production team for three days and, and, and you actually uh, took us through the plant and what was going on. So I'm trying to find out 10 years on what was commissioned a few days ago, what's the state of the plant right now in terms of capacity and its readiness to deliver electricity to consumers within the catchment area. Yes, well, what we have now is 141 megawatts. Just to give you perspective, uh, the Enugu Disco, which is, uh, covers five states of the southeast, gets uh, roughly about 300 megawatts from the national grid. Uh, so 141 is nearly half of what uh, the, the Disco gets. And this is all dedicated to ABA and the excess power to the national grid. 
We have, uh, that is we've installed that, one eight, the fourth turbine to get it to 188 is uh, underway. So uh, with that, ABA has absolute reliable electricity going forward. So the, right now, ABA has installed capacity in excess of what it needs to um, uh, have reliable electricity. That is, then, and it is all set. We have uh, commissioned uh, the turbines, hot commissioned them, which means that they are set to begin to deliver power. So you, you just spoke about Aba, and I'm sure your catchment area for these facilities, the, the southeast all the way to Onicha and Anambra State. Uh, give me the southeast picture of Nigeria and the economy as a whole. I'm sure I have my eyes on Newe, for example. I've been there a number of times uh, as a journalist covering these areas with a kind of human uh, resource that I saw on the ground and the factories and facilities in automobile and manufacturing and every other thing that that axis represent for Nigeria that needs, solely need non-oil export in industrial manufacturing. And I wasn't surprised that Africa Bank was part of you on this journey. Yes, in fact, um, what you find is the economy of Nigeria requires manufacturing, I mean, reliable manufacturing with energy costs. The cost of production is reduced significantly if you have industrial power that is affordable. So you have all these industries in the region and we believe that if the region could be encouraged to um, uh, in the industrialization of, of the country can just uh, spring from there. You have, as you said, the industries in Inewi, the industries in Aba where you have the huge garment industry, huge leather products industry and look at what can possibly happen when the, the um, leather products industry begin to operate the way it should, then the, the uh, heights and skins from the north can just come to, uh, to, the, uh, to the place uh, for production. You begin to see uh, the economy of different parts of the country joining together and have a booming economy. That is a national economy. We're not just uh, even just talking about regional economy. But manufacturing must take its place in Nigeria as a, as a major contributor to the GDP of, of, mm. of the country. It hasn't yeah. so. All right. Uh, you, you hosted me and my team 10 years ago. I'm coming back again 10 years after, very soon, uh, boots on the ground for well, another tour for the... We're delighted. We're looking forward to having you Thank you, you very here. much. It's the Rice team you'll be hosting. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again on this major energy project. I wish you all the best there. Batinaj and I, Jessama, Minister of Power and the founder of Geometry. Yeah.